Good afternoon, everyone. Happy rainy Tuesday to you. One of those days you kind of just want to stay inside because this is what it looks like outside. This is a live look from the Ochre Mountain camera. We're socked in with the clouds. We're actually overlooking the Salt Lake Valley, but you're not seeing much of anything right now. And you can see from Olympus Cove, we're pointed up and you've got all those dark clouds hanging around with temperatures hovering in the low 70s in Salt Lake City. Take a look at these temperatures across the Wasatch Front because of the rain that's already moved through and the clouds that are out there. Temperatures are in the 60s for most of our valley. 67 in Bear Lake, low 60s in Evanston and also Park City with 69 on the board in St. George. Much cooler than this time yesterday. So let's take a look at the rain showers that have developed and they've been moving through since early this morning. So you can see throughout the Salt Lake Valley, things are actually tapering off a little bit, but we have this rain that's coming off of the ochres right now, and this is going to start filtering down into the Salt Lake Valley. So we're seeing some rain in Harriman right now, and you're also going to notice that through parts of Tooele, a lot of that through Tooele County. Look at all this dark green and this yellow that we're seeing. So this is that widespread rain through Grantsville, Dugway, into Vernon, and also Cedar Fort. Uh, I'm going to take you over uh, to the Cache Valley where you can see some light rain through Logan and also along I-15 stretching from Brigham City all the way up to I-84 and near that southern Idaho border. We're dealing with rain through Minersville, Beaver and also Milford. Some of that is starting to taper off a bit in St. George and also in Cedar City, but we're going to see some more of that going into this afternoon. So we're not done with it. If you're getting a break from the rain right now, it will become more widespread again this afternoon. So a couple things that we're watching right now. High pressure. It's off to the east of us over the Great Plains. We've got this trough of low pressure off the coast of the Pacific Northwest still sandwiched between these two systems right here in Utah. And so this is helping that moisture continuing to get pump, uh, pumped in. So it's like a hose that can't get turned off. We'll continue to see that moisture over the next couple days. And that's what brings us rounds and rounds of showers and storms. So we're doing it again today. And you can see this area shaded in that darker green. This is where we're going to see our best chance for some stronger to severe storms developing, stretching from southwest Wyoming all the way down towards southwest Utah along that I-15 corridor. In addition to that, we're going to see the chance for heavy rain, gusty winds, so winds blowing around, hail, and even a very slight, small chance for a tornado developing in this area shaded in that dark green. We're talking a 2% chance, so it's not something I want to make you feel concerned about, but also with a slight chance, I want you to be prepared. We want to monitor the forecasts and weather, have many ways that you can get warnings and also have shelter ready. So let's take a look at the timing of all this. You can see by 3:30, we've got some storms developing, making their way across the Wasatch Front. We've got a push in storms through St. George and Cedar City uh, by about 5:30 into 6 o'clock, and that's going to continue into tonight, starting to die down early tomorrow morning. So flash flooding is probable at all of our parks and recreation areas. 80 today in Salt Lake City, scattered showers and storms this afternoon will hover in the 70s for most folks across the Wasatch Front. You see that in Park City mid 80s in St. George and tonight we're going to drop down to 67 with those showers dying down. St. George, you're going to hover in the 80s over the next couple days. You're back to the 90s Saturday and Sunday and in northern Utah chance for those daily showers and storms Wednesday, Thursday going into Friday with temperatures hovering in the mid 80s drying out Saturday.